Welcome back to Drang Lake. This is Rantry, and we are back again with young Miss Helphaba here. She's looking a little worse for wear. I'm not human, and I wasted most of my human effigies trying to get through the Dark Chasm of Old uh, and dis defeat the Dark Lurker, which I was unsuccessful at. We will do that soon enough. But today is a day to end all days. Let's get away from that bloodstain so we can two-hand our our giant bell here. And... Come round on young... Whoops! All right, Mr. Cyan Knight. All right, behind these doors, we've already seen that the, uh, oh, it's opening. Do I not even need the King Seal equipped? Apparently not. I thought I had to equip the King Seal to uh, get this door to open. But at any rate, oh, hello. Have we already talked to you in this location? Let's see what Shanalot has to say. My journey is already complete. My name is Shanalot. The dragon gave me this name, for I was born with none. I was born of dragons, contrived by men, by ones who would cause him fate herself. They are the ones who created me. But they failed. I did not come out as intended. Fate would not be bested, and men were cursed once again. If you proceed, Nashandra will come after you. Knowing that you will take the throne and link the fire. She covets the first flame and the great soul. Put Nashandra to rest. And indeed we will put Nashandra to rest. So, Shanalot said that the dragon gave her that name. We can infer from most of the lore that we've learned that Shanalot was probably created by Aldia, who did experiments on different beings by placing various souls in them. As we saw from the ancient dragon, it was the body of a dragon imbued with the soul of a giant. Nashandra, possibly the body of an undead, imbued with the soul of a dragon. Um, not completely sure. But she said that Nashandra will come after us because she covets the first flame and the great soul. What does this mean? She covets the first flame, the first flame from Dark Souls 1 being the thing that brought disparity, that created darkness and light. Before that, it was all gray. She wants to snuff out the first flame, I'm assuming. She does not want us to link the fire by taking the throne of want. She wants to usher in an age of dark because she's a being of dark. Um, so, we are here before the door to face Nishandra. I would like to do this solo, however, I've never finished Binhart's quest. I only have one human effigy, so I would like to kill her on the first go-round, if, if at all possible. We need to be human in order to summon Binhart. We summoned Binhart earlier for the Throne Watcher and Defender fight, I think? Did we summon him, or did we do it solo? Um, but anyways, this young man, I would like to finish his quest. If I don't do it this time, I guess I'm not going to be able to do it because that was my last hum and a figgy. But yes, we will summon him. We will also prepare. Uh, Nashandra's biggest threat, really, is she creates these little balls of curse. Our black witch veil, which will cover our beautiful face, um... 
it lets us, uh, it, it gives us a 100% curse resist, basically. We're going to go ahead and dark weapon up. Now, Nashandra is resistant to dark, so I've got a few great lightning spears ready for her. But first of all, we're going to just whack her with our giant bell. Nashandra, ask not for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. Grave undead. You have proven yourself to me. Chandra, cast your little, cast your little blingies. I care not for your cursedness. She's actually not too terrible. Oh, I say as I almost get completely owned. Oh, I am, I am cursed. My, my health at least is going down. I thought my, uh, Oh, that's bad. She's gonna blow up. Gonna go ahead and heal up again. Run in, she's gonna laser. She's got that kind of laser attack. I probably shouldn't have attacked three times. Get some. Oh, Binhart, Binhart, you're tanking for us. Oh, ah, could not get away quickly enough. All right, our health is not doing wonderful. Heal up again. Ben Hart is dead. I think he has to survive for us to finish his quest, so that may be a moot point right now. Oh, why am I do? Oh, she's resummoning her. Oh, we got her. We got her. Nashandra, you have been vanquished. However, many monarchs have come and gone. One drowned in poison, another was shot into flame. Still another slumbers in the realm of ice. Not one of them stood here. As you do now. You, conqueror of adversity. It was your answer. All right, I'm not real sure. Oh boy, he's got fire around him that is not friendly. He's putting some tentacles on the ground. I don't like that. All right, his fire's gone. Let's give him a whack. Let's back off. I've never fought this 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 being Aldia, the scholar of the first sin. Uh, we may we may go ahead and switch. Let's just see what our lightning spears don't seem to do too much to him. All right, I have no idea what his attacks are going to be. Honestly, I'm just trying to stay on my toes here. He's doing something. I wonder if he's, ooh, that's probably a one, oh, that's almost a one-shot kill. Let's do at least a double tap. Uh, let's try Dark Orb. Mm -mm. Not sure, not sure how well the ranged business is doing on him. I mean, I guess we can just stay here and spam. Oh, that does not seem to do anything to him. All right, we're gonna have to unlock here. Oh, gee, many Christmas! Come on. He doesn't. He doesn't seem to be all that threatening. Ooh, that wasn't good. 
I need him to drop that fire cloak so I can... Whoa, okay, don't do that. Don't get close to him. Oh, man, that fire. Man, that fire. I mean, he just seems completely immune to dark. All right, there's our Estus flask gone. So our old radiant life gems out. I've done almost no damage to him. I just, I'm not real sure how to fight this guy. I got my binoculars on, of course, because that's a smart thing to do. That does a little bit. I guess I'll just... I guess I'm just gonna have to... Wait till he does that. Whack him once, maybe twice. No, that's not good. He's gonna create this little boundary. Old Radiant Life Gym. Okay, right after he does that, he's eh, somewhat vulnerable. I have got to quit going in on that. Our Old Radiant Life Gym is still, still helping us. I've got to, I've got to, I've got to quit going in on that. That's not friendly. Our old Radiant Life Gym is still, still working for us here. All right, come on. Can I just run? And now can I run from this is the question. Yes, okay. Take your freaking fire cloak down. All right, where's he gonna go? Where's he gonna go? Where's he gonna go? Right there. I got a real brief window to whack him and get away. And old Radiant Life Gem, just for the funsies of it. Go ahead and dark weapon up again. Okay, after he, I gotta remember, after he does that kinda, all right, we should be able to run from these. Should be able to run from this. Come on. Oh, I can hit him during that, but that's dangerous. Oh, that's that's not good. All right. Aldia! Lost connection to server, I don't care. I guess I can go in and hit him once, once he starts charging that thing up. Oh, that's bad. I didn't start running soon enough. All right, lose your lose your freaking All right, he's going to come up. He's going to explode and then I can hit him real quick once, twice, three times a lady. Okay, that's that's what I need to do. Now, after this, he's going to be vulnerable again, I believe. Yes. And once, twice, run away, run away, run away. Jiminy Christmas. Boy, I'm not comfortable at this low of health. Can I get one in before you... No. Okay. I'm not even going to try it. Not even going to try it. I don't like this thing. I got to just unlock and run when he does that. All right. Magic flying balls of flame and loveliness. Once more, run away. Now he should start. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he? Oh, come on. Give me a break. All right. One, two, three, and away. All right. Get my stamina back. All right. I got to just. Ooh, what? Ooh, what's that? He's mad now. He is very angry at this current juncture. Aldia, Mr. Scholar, shoot your fireball. Oh man, he gets that flame cloak back up real quick. 
my dark does absolutely nothing to him. Or I'd be spamming some dark orbs, like, as is my want. One, two, buckle my shoe, and we'll run. Don't want to get too, too overzealous here. This is the first time I fought this guy. It's dark or er, let's freaking do two old radiance. All right, I don't want to get greedy here. I don't want to start spamming things. Oh, give me a break. Come on. Oh, Deuteronomy. Ooh, you can hear Aldia moaning from behind the fog gate. Here we are for round two. I felt kind of cheated. I feel like I probably should have killed him right then in one shot. I would like to get my souls back from killing Nishandra, but I do have a little bit of change of equipment. I put on the Hexer's boots, uh, 56 fire resistance. Most of his attacks, I think, are pretty much purely fire. And the Black Witch gloves I switched out. I was wearing the Gurm Great gloves um, for their fire resistance. So I got quite a bit of fire resistance with those two. And I've got to wear the black witch robe and the black witch hat, uh, you know, just cause that's the whole little cosplay of this playthrough. Um, let's see. I also switched out my, um, my spells. Uh, he's slightly weak, I think to magic or at least magic's the best thing against him. Lightning didn't seem to do too much, and Dark didn't seem to do too much. He does fire, so I assume he's not great against, uh, or I assume he has quite a bit of resistance to fire, but we're still gonna, we're still gonna start off with our old Dark Weapon strats. Oh, what, what, what? <laughs> Alright, here we go again. I still don't want to lose those souls, but I'm going to... Oh man, how? How do I... Rolling seems to help. Alright, don't let him appear behind me. And get in a whack or two. No, no, not two. Okay, he recovers from that somewhat quickly. All right, that's fine, we'll heal up. We will do a few great heavy soul arrows at him, just for fun. Oh, I should have run in and hit him. I've got to remember when he starts charging that thing up to at least hit him once. And yeah, he's got, he's got quite a bit of Got quite a bit of defense up when he when he does that thing. Okay, don't appear behind me, don't appear behind me. He's right there. Run in. One, two, and run, run, run. Okay, just one. Just one after that. Do a few great heavies. While he's waiting. Get at least one hit in. And skedaddle. Probably could have gotten two hits in. All right. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? All right. Don't appear right next to me. Ah, oh, that is that is BS. I don't like. All right. A few great heavies. While he does that business. Don't appear right behind me. Don't appear right behind me. Okay, he's not. That's good. Get one hit if we can. And out. Good. Okay, he's gonna do the the balls of life. We're just gonna run in a straight. Not so straight. Oh, he's got more. He's got more. Oh, that was a bad time to heal. One more. All right, don't appear right next to me. Don't appear right next to me. Yeah! 
Uh, don't have time to run up on him. Gonna try one of those. Not gonna work. Alright. More balls. Oh, balls. Well, he got me. He got me. He's getting me. He's killing me. I don't like it. Alright. Do not appear right next to me. Okay, good. You can appear right there. Oh, whack. Get out. Okay, if I'm real close to him, I can get, I can get a couple in. Oh, okay, probably not a good idea to run towards him when that happens. All right, buddy, what you gonna do? What you gonna do with all the cash you save? I should have great heavied him. Uh, do I heal right now or do I not? Okay, you're gonna buff. So definitely don't stay close to him right now. Do not hit me. Do not hit me. Good jobby job. Not gonna get in with the great heavy soul arrow. That should not have hit me. I'm... Heavy's in. Alright, I'm about to run out. Oh, I can hit him maybe at least twice. Is this going to be the death of me? Now we can run. And run to the side. Good jobby job. Snoop Doggy Dog sound like he need to get a jobby job. Okay, this is where, this is where I freaking die! Wrong button. That's happy. Alright, no more great heavies. Uh, I guess I can buff. While he's doing that. Alright, what are we gonna do now? Oh, I can whack him. Oh, I'm going for it. Yes. Victory achieved. I lost everything and remain here patiently. The throne will certainly receive you. But the question remains. What do you want, Tommy? Light, dark? Or something else entirely? You, who link the fire. You, who bear the curse. Once the fire is linked, souls will flourish anew, and all of this will play out again. It is your choice to embrace or renounce this. Great Sovereign, take your throne.
What lies ahead, only you can see. Thank you all so much for watching. That is the end of the Scholar of the First Sin playthrough. I will be back to do the DLCs. As we saw, or heard rather, Aldia said, others have come before you or something like that. Uh, other monarchs have existed and pursued the true throne. One felt a poison, one felt a fire, and another is encased in a kingdom of ice, or something like that, I'm paraphrasing. Anyways, uh, while the credits roll here, I'm gonna do a little bit of just a lore wrap-up. Um, so Vindrick became king, and found his queen, Nishandra. This woman appeared, he obviously fell in love with her, they became betrothed. And she convinced him that a war was needed to be waged against the giants. And so they went and fought the giants and stole something from them. We don't know exactly what that is. Could be possibly the Ashen Mistart. Could be possibly the Lord Vessel. Uh, because we see shards of it in the basement of the mansion at Majula. But I think that it was probably, obviously, the giant's kinship. I think what they quote-unquote stole is more metaphorical, meaning the giant's kinship. They, they, Vendrick and Nishandra gained the giant's trust and uh, learned their ways of creating these, these golems, golems with, with soul power. They learned that secret from the giants and then possibly betrayed it, used the golems against them. Who knows, but at some point they betrayed the giants, came back, uh, de defeated the giants and came back to Drang Lake. Well, the giants weren't too happy and they came and invaded Drang Lake. Um, but in the interim between those two times, Vendrick and Aldia seeking to eradicate the curse of the undead, although it seems now that Aldia was secretly kind of enthralled with the curse of the undead, they both began to research the soul and the power of the soul and if that had something to do with how to uh, fix the undead curse. Aldia doing experiments with various bodies and souls creating the ancient dragon, creating Shanalot, the Emerald Herald and Nishandra all the while I think urging Vendrick to take the true throne uh, the throne of want instead of just the throne of Drangleic. The throne that we see is in the, um, well, in the, in the, what would be the kiln of the first flame where the throne is built. Um, from Dark Souls 1, the kiln of the first flame looks a lot like the, the throne of want chamber. So that throne is ostensibly built upon the site of the flame, uh, the first flame that created the disparity uh, between light and dark in the beginning. So we've got Nishandra seeking the throne of want through Vendrick. Vendrick gets wise to her plan, basically, and says, wow, this woman is bad news, basically, and goes off uh, by himself trying to hide away the the keys to be able to open the throne of want, the giant's kinship uh, and the, uh, the, the the secrets to to getting to the throne of want uh, behind the shrine of Amana, which because of the Milfinito uh, singing dark creatures to to lull them into passivity, uh, Nishandra being a creature of dark can't pass. So he hides that away. Nishandra looks for a, a puppet, if you will, 
to unlock the throne of want for her. This is where we come in as the chosen undead. Uh, Shanalot tells us to seek the king, and I think she does this in good conscience, thinking that the king may have some sort of secret to cure the undead curse, or perhaps Nishandra is a puppet, or uh, Shanalot is a puppet of Nishandra. I don't know, but the whole time we are seeking Vendrick, really. Nashandra is behind the scenes orchestrating our progression to the throne of want wants the, to, to find Vendrick and put together all the pieces to unlock the throne of want once we do that she shows up ostensibly to kill us and take the throne of want herself to not rekindle the first flame but usher in the age of dark at the end of the game we are left with the choice with the ambiguity ambiguity of either maybe we relight the first flame and we hear the voice of Shanalot saying all of this will play out again or let the first flame fade and usher in an age of darkness now an age of darkness sounds bad until you kind of realize that humanity is darkness essentially Uh, Each bit of humanity from Dark Souls 1 and ostensibly the human effigies in Dark Souls 2 are tiny, tiny, you know, fragments, particles of dust from the first Dark Soul, which was found in the first flame by the furtive pygmy we learn in Dark Souls 1, who turned out to be Manus. In Dark Souls 1, when we defeat Manus, we are told that his soul burst into some other shards, the smallest of which of these, if we read the, uh, the Bow of Want and the other, the other uh, weapons we can make with Nishandra's soul, we learn that Nishandra was the smallest of the shards from Manus's soul. So her being such a small shard of a once powerful being, she sought power, she sought to prove herself possibly she just wanted she wanted power recognition what have you because she was the smallest shard of the dark soul we obviously foiled that plot and yet we have a lot to learn still um there are three kings who came before us Uh, one fell to poison one fell to uh, flame and one encased in a kingdom of ice as we are told by the scholar of the first sin Aldia so in future playthroughs we will seek out these kings of the past learn their stories and until then I'm Rantry thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the DLCs